What's this over here? Oh god. No, no, no. This looks like different than the other dead guys. This guy. Hey, any of you kids want to see a dead body? I've seen so many dead bodies. Is it even from a thing? I, the only place I know it's from is uh, Helsing. Yeah. Maybe it's from Stand By Me. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. It's ubiquitous. He's got a key ring. Is he chained to an engine block? Yep. Yes, he is. See, that's a little bit different than, you know, the rest of them. I think we can rule that as a suicide. Says Edgar's Scrapyard. No questions asked. Oh. Oh, wow. That's... I have questions. Yes. As do I. Do you have questions? Several questions. And I think we should make what, do what the key says and not ask them. Yeah, still, I think we should investigate. I'll put that on my later list. Yeah, we gotta go back and talk Special to Danny. Assignment received. Initializing. Oh, goddamn zombies. Goddamn Viking zombies. What the, the... These guys. I forgot about these guys. I know, right? They're just such an imposition in your, co in your commute. I was... Look, the... The Viking... Not too much of my sense of reality. Viking zombies should not be here. Is that any less realistic than the Mayan zombies? No, those are worse. Those are significantly worse. You're you know, right. You know, we haven't seen any pirate zombies yet. Give it time. Yeah. I mean, if they show up, I think you should just leave. You know, this place is just clearly jump right over the shark from a jet-powered skateboard. What? What? the fuck is oh, this? That's, that's weird. That is very weird. That's just... Where, where is that coming from? Where did it go? Where is Nobody it coming it. from? And it's... Is this like some sac some sort of altar? It's, it's the stone table where Aslan died. What kind of explanation is any? I mean, yeah, I did... I thought that we're in Skyrim now. That's just plain damn weird. That's just plain damn weird. Can you get in this in the direct center of it? And look up. Nothing. It just vanishes. Yeah. It's like someone put a spotlight in that tree. That's about all I can think of. But I don't think one's up there. No, not... not this is just the weirdest shit. What's that? Wait, what was that thing called? A word stand. Okay, that settles it. We are we are in Skyrim. Oh, there's a cave here. I wonder if there's anything in here. Why you don't go into the cave? It's probably full of full of Wendigo. It's uh, there's absolutely nothing in here. Good to I'm know. Disappointing. It's a nice image, it's, though, coming out of the cave. It's got a nice kind of silhouette. Wandered into a random cave. That's what I do. It's amazing you survived this long. Ah, <sighs> hairlock. Hey, Danny. Talk to about them zombie bees. So, this is not your average, everyday zombie outbreak. No shit. I'm sure you got your basic shamblers and runners, but they don't just bite. They do other stuff, like special effects stuff. Freeze ray. And then there's the tanks, like, you know, big Hulk zombies. Not zombie tanks with wheels. Although... That'd be just goofy. Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Kind of cool. <laughs> I like this kid. We also got zombies rising from Yeah, the me too. Not just the ocean. Some of them this must be about my maturity level. years old. Yeah. I mean, this isn't a big town. If it was just living folks turning, you wouldn't even call it an army of darkness. It'd be a scout patrol of darkness. <laughs> but the weirdest thing? No matter how you bust them up, they keep coming back. Mrs. Creed, she roasts them like marshmallows. Pastor Henry buries them in the churchyard. Edgar... Yes, yeah, so that's what he's he, doing. Well, you don't want to know what Edgar does. I have an Next idea. You know, they're coming out of the fog again, over and over again. Sucks to be us. 
That's right. this town's motto here. Kingsman. Sucks to be you. Sucks to be us. Taking a break from saving the world, huh? I bet you've been out there punching darkness in the face and kicking evil in the... Uh... Nuts. Or maybe you've been checking up on the MIB. Okay, Bill. Come on. Dead guys Danny. followed by very it's much alive guys in black suits and black bands. Connect the dots. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. Connecting the dots. I rigged one of my RC planes with a wireless webcam. No biggie. Super easy stuff. I already did it last year for, um, research. Not to get footage of Mr. Rosen, my math teacher, watering the flowers <laughs> in his underpants so I could put it on YouTube. That was that pretty wasn't funny. Me. I saw the video. Flying this thing is like, uh, like air traffic control in Silent Hill. I pretty much have to rely on, like, the force. And then every references. time I get over so the edge references. of the MIB camp, I am a nerd bam, character. it goes dead. And it goes Do I down. talk in references that much? They got some kind of signal scrambling going on. I mean, we, we both Maybe do. We're basically EMP? characters on the Big Bang I'd Theory. So Reference! Like my hands on that tech. Of course, I got, like, mad skills. So I manage to salvage the plane every time. If I have to keep pulling it out of trees and gluing bits back on... I'd really like to see what's going on inside that perimeter. Like Mr. I've Rosen used to say, try, try again, Dufresne. Of course he's a zombie now. Not that he's changed much. He's still Mr. Rosen, and he's still wearing those way too tight underpants. Ooh. All right, let's check this thing out. And it's going to be like that part of San Andreas with David Cross in it. Or not. No, I mean, that, that's about how, that's about, you know, as well as I ever did on the Zero Missions. I better go get it back for him. I mean, I guess. You know, I might be able to get more pictures of Cassie. So weird. What even is that? Looks like some kind of altar. That's so many, so many questions that I'm not sure I want answers to. Okay, where did this thing crash? What's this thing? Oh. Okay, that was a mistake. Why did I poke it? Because I make bad life decisions. There we go. Didn't even need me. What the hell? What the hell's that? I don't know. It looked... Is that barbed wire sticking out of it? Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, it was. Ouch. Be some kind of golem. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hmm. Ah. There it is. All right, EMP generators. I should take those out. Look at them. There's, whoa, there's like so many of them. They just wandering around. Don't they have a? Sh I mean, like, who's making them? Don't golems normally like require a shem? Maybe, maybe these are naturally occurring. Oh come on, that doesn't make any sense. Nothing makes any sense. Okay, fair enough. Oh, okay, right. Forgot about that. Not this place again. Yep, this place again. What's the code in here again? 
Yeah, I don't know. I've already forgot. Let's just look at the fucking log. <sighs> Do not print seven three nine two four one. See, see, I told you it was a good idea for me to keep wearing the uniform. Um, Wait, was the number again? Seven three nine two four one. Two, four, one. Oh wow, I actually got that right. Impressive. Okay, generator one. Let's go to generator number two. It's currently being looked at by one of those drones. Well, I mean, the last one, last one didn't barely even seem to notice you. See if I can get out without getting knocked out this time. You you can teleport. I can. I just choose not to. I need the exercise. <laughs> but you are a twig. Yeah, but it doesn't mean I've, but I used to be like a really out of shape twig. Okay. How can you be an you out of shape? happens. How can you be an out of shape twig? Well, like you know, if you can't, you can still end up huffing up stairs when you're skinny. To be fair, stairs were invented by the devil. Alright, let's try this thing again. Maybe I won't crash your plane this time, Danny. So let's see, five years we'll have, you know, cheaply available commercial drones. So I guess in five more years we'll have drones like Orochi has. Eat that? Um, there is logic in what you say. Ah, uh, Orochi. Trace the life cycle of any product or service and it will eventually lead to an Orochi subsidiary. They, they, they've infiltrated every sector, including ours. It's pretty much impossible to piss without getting some on them. And they so overreact when you piss on them. I'm not gonna ask questions. <laughs> so what are they doing in Kingsmouth? More importantly, how do we find out without them knowing? Flyby surveillance posing as a teenage science project isn't bad. If push comes to shove and shove comes to pinning everything on a scapegoat, they'll just use that kid. Feel free to pretend I'm kidding. Cha cha. I can't even pretend that anymore, KG. I can't even pretend. We, we've seen beyond the curtain. We can't unsee that. Yeah, the mutant Smurfs. Not my idea. That's Edgar. I okay, I know who to blame. Smurf figures. He's a bit weird, but he's totally cool once you get to know him. He's real funny. Just stay away from I'm just dogs. looking at this uh, you know, cash. The key I have in my hand. Carry and... biscuits. Carry lots of yeah. biscuits. I did some research on those blue things. Did you know they're from, like, Viking mythology? They were called hmm. Drog, and they're the ghosts of the dead lost at sea. <laughs> Don't ask me what Vikings are doing in Kingsmith. I'm thinking ancient blood curse. It's always a curse. Yeah, it's always a curse. Nine times out of ten. <sighs> I said, don't know anything about curses. Not personally. I will not ask questions about that. Best not to. I like having a name for the monsters. Better to think of them as something with a name. Something that was human once, you know? In a way, that's a lot less scary than Smurfs. Smurfs have no humanity whatsoever. And they're communist. How is having What's wrong with communists? Working out for you? My friend Carter. I mean, she some, some now that I'm Sam communist, some of my friends are communists, going on, but it's pretty wild. The friends like that I any have. Girl can give you a drop dead look. Only she could probably do it for real. But she's not like that at all. She won't even kill plants. I've given up on asking her to.
For someone with powers, Carter is totally normal. She does get seen about the weirdest things, like me going out alone. But she's not the only one. Sheriff Bannerman wants me back at the station by curfew. Like being out past dinner time is a big deal when the dead walk the earth. Why is she even letting you out? I may not be able to shoot fire or melt faces or, you know, jump my own height. I'm a good runner. I've read all the right comics yeah. and I'm like great with wires and motors and microchips and stuff. I think it's a matter of can she really stop him? She has a gun! Oh wow, that sounded way darker than I intended. Yeah, I don't think she's going to do that. No. Necessity is a mother of invention, right? I've already rigged a bunch of defenses around the town, so watch your step. I figure every superhero needs a brilliant inventor. I've got that much to aspire to. I'm the geeky sidekick. Yay. Right, so wait, I thought I was the geeky one. I thought I was the geeky sidekick. Okay, so only... So who is the geek here? Are we all geeks? I think we are, but I mean, we're just different flavors. Is this flamethrower? That is a flamethrower. Quick access inventory updated. So what's this about him rigging up defenses? I mean, I didn't see it. I mean, I did. I did. did, 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 did. Where, how did? Where is every? Can you just buy C four at like Walmart out here? I'm just wondering how many times I stepped over that without even noticing. Oh wow, that's frightening. So let's see what's going on over with Edgar. Yeah, that's that sounds like a good idea. Hey Edgar. I'm you're a genuine look. Grew up right here on Solomon Island, just south of town, at the Overlook Motel. Then why do you sound Cajun? Down there. Red oaks in the forest, beautiful ocean view. Place all boarded up these days. Been that way since those guests just up and vanished. And what? Those lights and knocking sounds at night. What? Screams. Um... Word of mouth got round. People stopped coming. And we had to shut down. What? That old business at the motel started when the Englishman disappeared. Never saw the man again. Left all his luggage and everything. Didn't even pay up. Wicker, I think his name was. I think I think it was Wicker. Yeah, his room smelled like cigarettes and booze and sulfur and English stuff, you know. And there was this <laughs> sticky black stuff all over. I remember because I had to clean it up afterwards. Okay. Um... First off, probably not a good idea to name your motel the Overlook. Well, it's you know, a motel, not a hotel. That's st still sticky black stuff. That doesn't sound good. Well, I mean, that's really no worse than what else you get in a motel. The best case scenario in that in there is opium. Oh yeah, that's actually a really good case. It's like good source of income for the hotel. By that point, my mama had had enough. What with Pa dying and all. And then Henry and, and Tom Dexter. So she left for Florida, said I had to fend for my own from now on. At least I had the scrapyard. Been running that ever since. Tom Dexter, I think I saw him in the, uh, in the cemetery. I mean, there were a lot of, lot of Dexters. I was gonna go over here and try to find where this key goes, and probably and pick up some stuff here. So you you're gonna search through the garbage. I gotta think for a flamethrower and uh, holy shit! Use the flamethrower. Temporary abilities acquired. Well, it's got a flamethrower. Oh shit. Fight flamethrower with flamethrower. My flamethrower exploded. Okay, we'll just use a gun then. I 
I think the, there is a design flaw. You think that the thing built by... <laughs> built by the 14-year-old and the man who lives in the scrapyard has some design flaws. Perhaps. Okay. What the hell? Not that truck. I looked at it. You looked at it? Yeah, for some reason I it must have noticed I looked at it. I made eye contact. You know, I'm just I'm just gonna accept that as as a thing. That's just a natural part of how the world works now. Oh, okay, now you're being skeptical about Shaq. No, I'm not being skeptical. I'm just... Uh, I'm just tired. I'm just very tired. Yeah, I know that feeling. Our wisdom flow says sweet, taste, and see. Transmit. Initiate the anthropomorphic signal. Receive. Initiate the Judalo bin Bezalel frequency. He keeps going and going and going. Illumine the guardians in automatons. Witness the golem. Oh, Rabbi Lou. Yeah. So they are like, I mean, it's, weird. it's, it's, so, I mean, it's so weird to see golems in an actual, like, Judaic religious context. Okay. Wow. Oh. Damn. Script. Okay. I can understand the money. I mean, the dead guy. Why is he just leaving the money in the trunk? Maybe uh, he didn't leave it there. Maybe he said no questions asked. Yeah. Maybe he just didn't check. I guess, but... Well, somebody, somebody in this arrangement should have asked a question like, where the fuck is our duffel bag full of money? Well, maybe the fog kind of got in the way. Yeah, I mean, zombie plagues always interfere with your mob hits. Vampires, too. Oh, yeah. 